Good evening. I am meteorologist Kyle Perez with the National Weather Service in Springfield, Missouri. This briefing will highlight the potential for severe weather and flooding late tonight into early Tuesday morning, and additionally address the wintry weather expected as we head into the middle part of the week, Wednesday into Thursday. First, let's take a look at the severe weather and flooding potential late tonight into early Tuesday morning. The area of greatest risk for strong to severe thunderstorms is denoted by the slight risk. This includes portions of southeast Kansas into southwest Missouri and south central Missouri as we head into late tonight and early to Tuesday morning time frame. That time frame includes anywhere from 12 a.m. to 8 a.m. Looking at the individual hazards, wind is generally going to be our highest potential threat. As we can see, wind gusts approach 60 to 70 miles per hour late tonight and into early Tuesday morning within any severe thunderstorms. Any of those strong to severe thunderstorms will also be capable of producing hail up to the size of quarters, and then a few tornadoes cannot be ruled out as well. An additional threat is the flooding and heavy rainfall, especially across areas within flood watch. That will be addressed in the next slide. The flood watch is posted for portions of south central Missouri and points for the further east and south. This includes areas along the Highway 60 corridor and east. For this area, you are expecting to see anywhere from one to two inches of rainfall with localized heavier amounts possible. Given the recent heavy rainfall across the region over the last few weeks and the recent flooding along some streams and rivers in this region, this area is most prone to seeing additional flooding through the overnight hours into early Tuesday morning. Here's a look at what we could expect on radar as we head through late tonight into early Tuesday morning. As you can see, areas of showers and thunderstorms move through the region in the overnight hours with the strongest potential generally in that early a.m. hours anywhere from the 12 to 8 a.m. time frame for portions of southeast Kansas all the way across into south central Missouri. Make sure you have multiple ways to receive warnings, whether that's through the internet, local TV and radio, outdoor sirens, NOAA weather radio. There are many ways to receive warnings, and we encourage you to have multiple ways in case a warning is issued for your area tonight. Additionally, there's a potential for flooding overnight, and that includes areas, especially along low-lying and low-water crossings in portions of south-central Missouri. And remember that any of those areas that are flooded are going to be nearly impossible to see at nighttime as if you were driving through them in the daytime. So make sure you turn around and don't drown. Now I will address the potential for winter weather as we head into Wednesday into Thursday timeframe. The image on the right highlights what we are current thinking is right now with where we will see different precipitation types of wintry weather across the region. So starting from the north, you can see the areas shaded in blue. We'll generally see mostly snow with some sleet mixing in. And that's it for portions of west central Missouri into central Missouri, generally along the Highway 54 corridor and north. As you get further south, closer to the I-44 corridor, we're looking at an area of mostly sleet with some snow mixing in. And then once you get south of the 44 corridor, that's where our greatest concern is for mostly freezing rain with some sleet mixing in. This image on the right is subject to change over the next few days as we closely look into where the warmer nose and the warmer air aloft will be, and that, thus determining what the different precipitation types will be at the surface. So at this time, our confidence on the exact timing and location are in the medium range. Our exact amounts remain low at this time, given the uncertainty of when we will see those different precipitation types and how they will change back and forth with time. But we do want to highlight that our travel impacts uh, confidence remains higher at this time, given the potential of wintry weather uh, impacting the region Wednesday into Thursday, whether that is snow, sleet, or freezing rain for your particular area. So now is the time to prepare. 
make sure you have an emergency supply kit in your car, and make sure to follow the forecast over the next several days as we continue to hone in on the forecast and make sure that you also have different ways to receive the information, whether you are following us on Facebook, Twitter, or even our briefings on YouTube. For the National Weather Service in Springfield, Missouri, I am meteorologist Kyle Perez.